Hello again, and welcome back to Flashback, the segment where I go back to the first installment of a long-running franchise and see if it can still fly today. Since I was a kid, I always thought that jets were awesome. Hey, I grew up in the 80s where Top Gun, and even Iron Eagle, grabbed kids' imaginations. At one point in my life, I wanted to be a jet pilot. But then I saw all the prerequisites to get into the Air Force Academy. So much for that. Even so, I still enjoyed playing flight combat games, whether they involved jets, choppers, or even spacecraft. I first earned my wings with Afterburner and F-16 Fighting Falcon on the Sega Master System. But my love of the genre didn't really take off until I discovered the Ace Combat series. Yeah, with this and Tekken, you can tell I'm a fan of Namco stuff. Hell, one of the first games I ever played was Pac-Man on the Atari 2600. What an introduction, huh? Anyway, due mostly to money, I didn't get a chance to try the Ace Combat series until Ace Combat Zero on the PS2. But it checked all the boxes for me. The jets looked amazing, almost a dead ringer for their real-world counterparts. The controls were easy to grasp, even the advanced options. I even like how unashamedly cheesy the story got to be. As for the action... Oh boy! On target every step of the way. Great mission variety, and when you line up your sights to get a MIG in your crosshairs, it's so satisfying. The series didn't change much over the years with the one exception being Ace Combat Assault Horizon, which tried to bring the carnage up close and personal. That one was awesome too, but it was a very different feel from the rest of the series. Angry Joe has a great review of that one from back in the day. Worth checking out. The newest entry, Ace Combat 7, which I have on the Xbox One, feels very much like Ace Combat Zero from two console generations prior. I have no problem with that. But I always thought that entries in the series felt more like refinements rather than evolutions. That's why I was a little nervous when I decided to go back to the first Ace Combat on the original PlayStation. And no, I did not forget how to read. I know it says Air Combat. For some reason, the first Ace Combat game is only referred to as that in Japan. In all other regions, the name was changed to the far more generic Air Combat. Even after lots of research, I still couldn't find a reason for the name change. Did the Japanese think no one else would know what the game was about? <laughs> I mean, it's not like the box art didn't make things abundantly clear. Unlike the more recent installments, which had overdramatic plots told with fanboy enthusiasm, the original has... really no plot to speak of. There's some introductory text talking about how you're one of the elite pilots. From where? Who knows? Flying for whom? Who cares? Fighting against... Uh... Those... Guys. Over there. The ones the missiles will lock onto. A basic outline can be found in the manual, but things like that were barely acceptable during the Atari 2600 era. By the PlayStation era, there was no reason to have players do homework before starting a game. If you want to have a plot, put it on screen. Fortunately, the game itself still works well enough as long as you don't give a shit about who you're shooting at or why you're doing it. The visuals are a mixed bag, even by the standards of a PS1 launch title. While the models for the actual fighters are solid enough with a decent level of detail, the areas that you fight in are beyond basic. The sky is just a basic gradient with a few scattered clouds, and the ground only shows simple textures and geometry when it isn't presenting another flat color as water. I know better than to expect the visuals to match up to the PS2 games that introduced me to the series. But it's hard to look at this one when even the third game Electrosphere blasts this out of the sky. However, the audio package still works great with pumped up music, very good sound effects to fit the game, and some very good voice work, which says a lot considering how terrible voiceovers tended to be before Metal Gear Solid showed the world how to do them. When I started the actual missions, 
I felt right at home despite never having played the first Ace Combat before. While I couldn't use the thumbsticks to fine-tune my controls since the game came out two years before the DualShock, I still had little trouble controlling the jets. For the record, I played with the advanced controls which allowed for rolling, and everything was responsive. If there is one real fault with the content, it's the lack of variety. While a number of jets, each with their own strengths and weaknesses, can be unlocked with cash earned from good mission performance, the missions all revolve around dogfighting small squadrons. There are no bombing missions. Understandable considering there's hardly any land to bomb. There's no taking off or landing for the same reason. Weapons are also extremely limited. You've got cannons and air-to-air -air missiles. And that's it. In fact, the missiles are so effective and the enemy counts for every engagement are so small, I hardly ever had to use the cannons. The combat starts to feel the same after a few missions, albeit with a slight difficulty curve. The only extra thing is the split-screen deathmatch for two players, but it sucks even by the standards of the time. While both players have an entire hangar's worth of jets to choose from, there is only one small and largely barren map to fight in. I think that was probably done to ensure optimal system performance on the original PlayStation, but there's really no point in playing the deathmatch mode. Even at the time, it was easily outmatched by the original Twisted Metal. That reminds me, I gotta look at the Twisted Metal game sometime. The original Ace Combat definitely looks archaic compared to the seventh game on modern hardware. Its gameplay options are far more limited compared to the latest entry. However, the building blocks present in the first game are still solid. I still had fun with the first game. Despite it being nearly 30 years old, it still has gameplay that holds up. If you want to see where flight games really start to get great, the first Ace Combat is worth taking out of the hangar. So, thanks for joining me for Military May, and a special thanks to our servicemen and women. I make a point of doing these Memorial Day specials every year out of respect for you. Thank you for your service. Have any questions or comments? Drop them in the comments below, or send them to that Twitter right there. I'd also appreciate a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. Next time, I'm diving back into the treasure chest, and I'm in the mood to play with what I grab a little longer. I don't mean it like that. Perverts. Thanks for joining me. Take care and game on.